In this lesson, we're going to cover the fundamentals of building workflows on Pipedream, which includes generating events, testing them, and then deploying the workflow. So let's get started by opening up our Pipedream dashboard. Here you can see we're in the workflows section of Pipedream. In the upper right, you can see a button to create a brand new workflow. Let's click that. The first prompt you'll see is to add a trigger to the workflow. The trigger is the first step in a workflow, and that's what emits events for the steps after the trigger to run off of. For this example, we're going to choose the HTTP webhook request trigger. We're going to select that, and then we're going to click save and continue to just go with the defaults with this trigger. That created a brand new URL for this workflow to be triggered from. Let's open this URL in a new tab. And here we can see that Pipedream returned a response that says success and it's the default response. You can customize it later. Let's close out this tab and return to our workflow. Here we can see that a brand new event came into the workflow trigger, and that's from the web page we just opened, the URL we just opened. We're going to go into the event selector. We're going to select this brand new event that we emitted, and now we can see all the data associated with it in the export section. You can see the full URL, you can see the path and the HTTP method that we use to access this particular trigger. Now we can click continue. This will add another step to the workflow. And for this example, let's pick send an email. By choosing this action, Pipedream will automatically send us an email every single time this action is triggered. So, Let's type in a subject for the email, say hello from Pipedream. And the body, we can say something simple like, hi, I was triggered by an HTTP request. You'll see this test button. And the test button allows us to run this particular action from the event we selected in the, in the trigger. Clicking test will run this particular step with that condition of that event. And here we can see that an email was successfully sent. And we'll see this particular email sent to the email address associated with your Pipedream account. You can also test the entire workflow in one run or test all the steps above this particular step that you're on. And then we can finally click deploy once we're happy with our changes. Now that your workflow is deployed, it will receive events to its trigger. In this case, it's our URL, and it will automatically execute the steps in order that you define in the workflow. Now we just covered the basics of building Pipedream workflows. You set up a trigger, you trigger the trigger, and then you select an event to test off of. Once you've made all your changes, deploy it, and then you're live.